CB Tesla, and welcome back to another video. And if you remember last episode, well, two episodes ago, we found a mine shaft or a cave system. I'm pretty sure there's an abandoned mine shaft in there. But one of the most interesting things was that last episode, after resource hunting, I um I was wondering why I was getting swarmed by zombies. And it turns out. When we went down there and uh, broke open the little area, we actually found out that there was a spawner uh, room that had actually exploded with zombies. So our plan today is we're going to make some, oh yeah, two more stacks of coal, that's awesome. Um, so we are going to make heaps of torches, uh, these 33 pieces of coal. Now what we're going to do is grab these, grab some acacia wood, and make some... Awesome torches, awesome torches, sponsor. Now we're gonna grab these, cool, 64 torches. I'm pretty sure that's enough, I hope that's enough. Actually, what I was wondering was that, can we make torches out of charcoal? Because that would be very good, but we won't bother testing that out now, because I'm too happy, because I want to get this room done. So let's go back down there, into the depths, and, ooh, actually, we might quickly go grab some food because I really do need some food. I think we can, I think we got some carrots. I think it was carrots. But we might grab some food from that spawner room. See, because spawner rooms I think also have bread, if, if I remember correctly. They are bread and something else, which I've forgotten. Thank you, pig. Um... I think any raw meat in Minecraft has a chance of poisoning you, which is kind of annoying. So, uh, let's run down here as quickly as possible. Come on. I'm getting slower. Eat some chicken. Okay. The one bad thing is I'm hitting my head on the roof, which is probably why it's actually slowing me down. Um, but anyway, I'm really happy about finding the spawner, and I do want to get this conquered straight away, because before they start spawning, uh, because everything will die if we end up leaving it. Uh, come on, where are, where is it? Nah. I think it's here. We gotta grab heaps of these, okay, torches. Um, come on. I'm so slow all of a sudden. Okay, we want to reap the the things with the spawner, so we don't want to leave it. <sighs> yeah, ho! Oh, guys, this is the biggest find we have ever found. Now, this bucket is a massive thing that we need, you know, and we got four iron ingots. This is amazing. I hope there's more spawners around here. I think there might be a spawner up there through, through you know, where the water where we came in, and we've... Uh, like saw heaps of guys. I think that might be a place where there's a spawner, but this spawner is awesome We got three name tags some iron ingots and some wheat Now I'm very happy about this because if we get some sheep we can name them dinner bone and the interesting thing is Oh, no, not dinner bone. No, um it, it was a name, but when you named it it would like oh Jeb Jeb and I think when you named it the sheep would glow and whenever you uh, would shear the sheep, you actually get the color that uh, the color wall that it was actually showing. So that that's pretty cool. I think, yeah, I've got I've got my iron pickaxe here. I might as well grab these. Am I getting them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting mossy cobblestone. That is really good. Do love a bit of mossy cobblestone. Um. Now, so this is the first spawner, uh, which is amazing. I'm very happy about this. Uh, now, we might go caving and try and find where that spot is back over there, at the entrance where I could hear heaps of, like, um, heaps of zombies at. I hope it's just zombies and it's not another spawner because, oh man, I got shocked so badly when I got, when I opened it and there was just a heap of zombies that swarmed me, which is not a good thing. Uh, I might grab the rest of this. It might be a good addition. Cool. Okay. 
I, I know I left a couple of bits there, but we'll just leave it there just to remind us that that is a spawner. Uh, so we'll head back whichever way it was, which I've forgotten. Uh, I'm pretty sure we reaped everything out of this area. So the last spot we got to go to in this cave system is down through this little water area, which we can hear has got significant amounts of zombies in there. I don't know. I don't really feel like actually going down there. Um, it's hard. I don't want to go down there. Oh, yeah, l let's take that lava while we're here. Boom. Got that lava. Boom. You know what would be awesome? If we got a quad zombie spawner. That would be amazing. Uh, what have we got here? Nothing much. Okay. Oh, something down here. Uh, nothing really down here. Whoa! Whoa, mate! Whoa, mate! Stay away! Stay away! Wow. That, that was a disappointment. There was nothing in there. Anyway, we've got three minutes left of our episode, so I think we might as well head back. Um. Here we go. So this cave is conquered. We have done this cave. This is over. We don't need to go back down through here. So we can maybe... Yeah, let's take our torches. Just leave one torch down here. Okay, let's head back up. And, it, and it's still daytime, which is a good thing. Because then we can head back to our house. And we won't uh, die because of all the guys that are outside. Now the other thing I was uh, wanting to do is maybe just do a bit of a, a bit of caving in the desert, which is, seems pretty cool. Seems to be a couple of spots in the desert that we can go caving. It looks like it's about to sun. Oh, whoops! I almost fell down there. It looks like it's about to sunset, which means that it is almost night time. We might as well end it a bit earlier because we've ended all our other episodes a bit late. But if we end our episode when the sun goes down, I'm pretty sure they'll be good. Wherever our house is, which I've forgotten. Uh-oh. Oh, it's back over there. Why have I run all the way over here? Let me eat my mutton. I think we could kill these bunnies. But they're really hard to kill because they jump around a lot. Let's try. Insta-kill. Much. What's down here? Nothing. Of course. Um, did we get any meat? No. We could insta-kill all the bunnies around here and get heaps of meat. Oh, yeah. This is to keep me occupied. We might actually go over time again. Because, you know, me being me, we always go over time. Hit this guy. Hit this guy. Rabbit's foot. <laughs> oh, we got no meat. Come on. Oh, I think that's the thing. If you kill a rabbit with, uh, with an iron sword, it insta-kills them, but it, it lowers the chance of you getting meat. This guy looks like he's feisty, so he might have meat. Yeah, he does. Okay, so if any guys have, like, two two hit kills, they normally will have meat. Uh, which is a good thing, because we need the meat. These black guys seem to be the ones that have the meat. No, they don't. Okay, sunset. Let's head back up. Uh, it is almost time to go back to bed, which is really good. Let's just remove this, destroying the environment. Uh, here we go, our trusty house. All very orange. Let's watch the sunset. Maybe not, actually, because we've got to sort out some of this stuff and we don't want, want heaps of creepers around us. So, um, so here's the cobblestone that we got. We got a lot of cobblestone. We got a lot of, um, 
of iron ore, which is what I'm happy about. So we got some of that. Maybe we can get, we could put those rabbit's foot and stuff in here. Uh, we got a bucket of lava, which is very good. Three name tags, that is amazing. Four iron ingots, uh, some of that, some hide, some of this. Yeah, I think we had a pretty successful day. So I'll go to bed and uh, I'll do my outro. So, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you dislike this video, please dislike. If you really liked it, please subscribe. And if you have any feedback for me, please send it to me at cbtesla at gmail.com. So, cbtesla out.